Alfred, um, yeah, that last episode, uh, I didn't notice how long it had been. I mean, I did. I just didn't think it was that long. What the hell? Come on. That isn't fair. Why would the why would the forerunners put that shit in here, man? And see now, now that I had a stupid death. Inexplicably, they know who I am and where I am and who I am. Man, that explosion can be so deadly. I really do like the mechanics. I feel like, um, I like the mechanics of shields, I should say. I feel like shield mechanics could be remixed around so they're not as plasma pistol centric. Because, like, the plasma pistol is just so invaluable as a weapon because of its ability to charge up a shot and clean a shield off in, in one shot. You know, and I feel like... I feel like... I don't know. I feel like you just spend so much time getting this gun. Damn it! Motherfucker! This fucking guy. All right. Swordmaster, I've come to bargain. He didn't even get slowed down by that. Come on, bro. There, Jesus. <sighs> so yeah, welcome back to Halo. Um, last episode just like went such a long time, and I barely even noticed how long it had actually been. So I decided to cut it there without actually doing an outro. Because when I went back to do some more, I was like, oh, man, it's, uh, that's not good, huh? Yep. There we go. I just got to get away so this guy doesn't... Bro. Be cool with me, bro. I'd still really like to be able to rip the fuel rods off of these dudes. Man. That's just inconsiderate. Know what I'm saying? I wonder what the um, mechanics of the back attack are. Because in this, they're still called an assassination. Damn it. I suppose it just must multiply the the um, the punch attack just by hitting an enemy in the back. And for most things, that's enough to kill it, but it either doesn't work on hunters, as you saw by that, or... That just went right the hell through you. Embarrassing. And I'm out of grenades. This is a long level. <laughs> Not helped by uh, my lack of knowledge and the difficulty. Wait, is that a dead guy? That is a dead guy. Many dead men, in fact. How did you get down here, bro? Do you have any weapons for me? I really need one. Well, this is fine, I guess.
This game has such solid mechanics that, like, ultimately, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. It's still a great video game. There we go. See, now we're getting into an issue. Please. There was nothing I could do. I just had to beg there. All right, so getting through the room will give me a rocket launcher. You know, I was hoping that this was gonna be a shorter LP. You know, 10 episodes like Halo Reach was. I didn't think it was going to be five like Halo Wars was, even though five, uh, Halo Wars is technically eight. It's eight videos, but only so many episodes. See the distinction? I've got enough of these to play with. May as well use them, right? Why are you here? That's... Oh, oh, gee. <sighs> I think uh, I think my posture is not good because I'm hurting my elbow like this. Excuse me, gentlemen. You'll clear those out. Okay, cool. Oh, we got a checkpoint too. But you better believe I'm going to go back and kill them hunters. Oh, I was going to be disappointed, but like, no, that got him. He's dead. Radical. Wow. I really thought that that would take more. I don't know how the hell these guys got so far in. That seems a little implausible, but, you know. So I know that Halo 1 has a remastered edition because fuck, I'm playing it. Oh, brother. Alright. Another one down and another one down. The Banshees are going to be problematic, I sense. This also really reminds me of... That was the coolest thing I've ever done. This reminds me of the Ark. Uh, I mentioned it. It's a location in Halo 3. Anyway, so I mentioned the Ark in Halo uh, in earlier episodes in reference to Halo 3, but the Ark looks just like this. Like, it's snowy, it's got the big, it's got the superstructures. <laughs> Alright, get inside. God, how are you still... That's implausible. How could he be there? rid of him. Why don't I have my gun? I was hoping I could grab his. Alright. 
So yeah, I guess they only ever stop being dangerous when they hit the floor and have time to explode. Oh, stop. See, so yeah, needle rounds only, like, shave off your health when they're... When they're harbored! I'm trying to swear less. Okay, I really should have my real gun. Where is it? Oh, the checkpoint's here. These guys aren't dead in this timeline. That's also why my health is low. Which makes a lot more sense, frankly. Wait, I, I know what I can do. I can just play with this guy. There you go. There you go. I thought that I had been, like, pushed back a, uh... God, don't give me this piece of crap. Come on, where's the pistol? I'll use this if I have to. Here it is. There you are, my old friend. My guiding moonlight. Say, so maybe it kicked me back a checkpoint. Or maybe I just missed a checkpoint. The, both of those are possible. All right, 10 rockets and pistol rounds. This should be a lot easier. Oh, also, these guys are jackals now. And that was a downgraded elite. Let's go then. Oh man. Son of a gun. Jesus, man, I'm dropping the ball here. I'm losing it. I'm losing my cool. <sighs> Mention my elbows aching. Probably should do something about that, huh? There he is. Bend this piece of shit. Come on, vent, damn you. Just all I really have access to is overwhelming firepower. There we go. Now, why don't I have a checkpoint here after this dialogue and after I get what I want? Yeah, so I was trying to get in that Banshee. I can't even remember if you can get in Banshees in Halo 1. It might not be possible. How did that not kill you, dude? Okay, and now I will wait. This is always valid. Just like pussing out and hiding, that is always a thing that you can do in Halo. It's what the elites don't want you to know. Actually, wait, that's actually kind of apt. Are you trying to fly in here? Guys, this is a no-fly zone. You don't have clearance. And also, you're trying to fly a fucking plane into a tunnel. That missed both of them? Come on, bring it around for another. This time, you might be able to get it. Lead the target, Alfred. Lead it. 
And also talk into the microphone, you fucking idiot. See, one of the things about this fucking gun is that it's so huge that it takes up a massive chunk of your screen. Oh, my health. Oh, God. Fine. I'll just go back then and do it all over again. Yeah, I'm going to set this down to easy. This is my channel. Hey, dude. What's up? I don't have to mock the people who play easy mode. Because this is my show. All of that is up to me. Give me this fucking gun. I swear on God. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an unfamiliar game. And I'm a coward. So maybe this isn't the time for it, but again, I'm noticing Halo does not have a lot of, uh, like, female characters. Like, there's maybe one... Hey, and we're back. I just got real fucking salty. Um, had to take a little breaky brew. Needle rounds are really annoying in this, in this game mode. See, I blew up that. I'm not sure how much that's going to help me long term. Uh, and I've only got so much left in terms of rockets now. Not helped by you, you dickhead. See, I'm just trying to zigzag and shit. I'm just trying to move unexpectedly so they're not going to aimbot me. I feel like it's impossible to take out a vehicle with a gun in this. All right, come on over. What in God's name are you doing? Oh my God, game's fucking crashing. Uh, I've almost filled up my hard drive for the fifth time, sixth time. I'm losing count. So uh, if I cut out again, that'll be why. But yeah, so uh, Halo, not a lot of uh, prominent... Uh, or important um, female characters. I was just thinking about it. There's basically like one per game. Um, in the books, there's Dr. Halsey, who I've mentioned before, is fucking evil as shit. Like, she's kind of awful. I mean, kind of nothing. She's she's miserable. Um, so Dr. Halsey, evil. And then Cortana for the Chief Trilogy. Um... In later games, uh, she takes a little too much after her mother. Oh, please, get away from me. I don't want to see you. Um, especially in the Reclaimer trilogy, Cortana acts way too much like her mom. Uh, in ODST, you got Virginia Dare who is distrusted by the protagonists, who are all male. Um, she's a spy. Finally. At long last. And we're in another one of these rooms. Why, why this room again? Track is pretty solid, though. I will admit, track is solid. I wasn't sure if that was the music or <laughs> that thing just stuck at the wall. It was the thing. Um, K 
cat in ODS, nope, in uh, Reach. Only female protagonist in the game, and I think the only female Spartan seen on screen in the proper Halo. Uh, and I've already talked about Cat. Like, in a game where everyone has an amazing, super dramatic, cool death scene, like, George fucking does a heroic sacrifice and kills himself to save everyone, even though it's nullified. And Carter has that cool moment where uh, he just flies a ship into the thing, and Emil goes down swinging, and uh, Noble Six, like, Noble Six, like, hops on the gun and. Cat is shot through the head completely unceremoniously out of the blue just to just kind of for the shock value. And like I was just thinking about it because um there's this old animation called Haloid. It's a crossover animation between Halo and Metroid. And you know, as both games are about uh, space marines of some variety. There's uh, long been, like, the gag of, like, ooh, what if Master Chief was revealed to be a woman all along, just like Samus was in her first game. Because, you know, now that's extremely common knowledge to the point where it's the primary thing people know about the character. But yeah, in the first game, it wasn't obvious that Samus was a girl until you beat it, and I think you might have had to get the true ending, but I don't remember. I have not played the NES uh, Metroid. But yeah, there's like twists where um, Master Chief takes off the helmet and it's a girl in like animations and in live action as well. There's jokes where it's just like a girl Spartan. You wouldn't happen to have a rocket launcher there, would you, buddy? Because I see rockets, but no launcher. Fuck, should I have held onto that? Oh no, a single jackal. Whatever shall I do? But yeah, um... And then there's that one guy who shows up in... Uh, Halo 5, and you split the game playing between him and uh, Chief. I don't know why he's not a girl. Like, he's such a boring character that you'd think he'd have something going for him. Like, in terms of being a, a Halo character, he's not unique to Halo. He's a Spartan 4, but, like, fucking everyone is a Spartan 4. Like, because uh, Spartan 1s are just genetically engineered, like, whatever. Spartan 2 is the ones where they have all the real shit and, like, you know, that's that's that good stuff. Spartan 3s are the, like, knockoffs of those. And then 4s are the knockoffs of those. Where am I going? I'm lost. Nice aim, dude. Yeah, Spartan Luck is just boring. I don't know a lot about Halo 5, because, like, as I mentioned, um, I haven't even started 5, and I quit while playing Halo 4. We should commandeer one of those ghosts. We're going to need the firepower. Well, yeah, this is just like the Ark. Um, it's, it's so weird that, like, people think of me as, like, the Halo guy. I mean, obviously not the internet, because there are way, way better people to watch play Halo. But uh, many of my friends consider me to be, like, the fan of Halo, the guy to talk to about Halo lore. Yeah, haven't beaten half the games. Like, haven't started 5, quit playing 4 because I didn't like it. Haven't beaten Combat Evolved, which is... Wow. Just... My salad's being tossed over here, guys. Please just leave me alone. I'm just trying to get through here. Man, traffic on I-80, huh? Alright, made a traffic joke. That's uh, funny forever, right? I don't actually drive, so my joke's a little disingenuous. Oh yeah, another thing. Jackals aren't allowed grenades. Only, uh, only grunts. So maybe it's just because jackals are so specialized, but like grunts are allowed automatic weapons, um, rocket launchers, grenades, and vehicles. 
Get over here, you coward. Thank God. At least the grunts will face their death like a hero. They'll take out two grenades and just run at you. You couldn't expect that from a jackal. Oop. Screen staring. Oh, wait. It's dangerous to fight y'all in close quarters, huh? Okay. Ooh! That's probably what I'm supposed to have, uh... The rocket launcher for, huh? Oh, man. Their shield just eating it up. I don't know if I'm long for this world. There's one of them, but that isn't uh, encouraging one way or another. Get out, get out, get out. Because, yeah, I, I mentioned this in the past, but... Um, Hunters will get uh, enraged whenever their partner is killed, and they always show up in pairs. Which means that the right thing to do is to kill this poor guy. That was pretty baller. Need some form of artillery. Okay, these arrows... These arrows are kind of getting tacky. <laughs> like, I am grateful for them. Because I, as mentioned, I get lost very easily. But man, they are just like, go this way. You know? Sometimes I'm not sure if it's just the game design or if it's me. Sometimes it really is the game design. Like, it's very verifiable that... This game is just designed in a very asinine way that means that a player will often go the wrong way. I don't know why I went up there. Oh, Jesus. A lot of screen tearing. A lot, a lot of that. Don't like that, not one bit. No, thank you, sir. Mm, my arms. Fantastic soundtrack, though. Gotta say. Uh, if this episode ends up running short... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Thank you. If I sell it... Or gun, thank you. I doubt this episode will run short, but I um, I'll just start the next one. Usually, I try to do like one episode is uh. Covenant forces in the vicinity have been eliminated. Let's move on to Halo's control center. Nice. Thought that was the plan, Cortana. Uh, usually, I try to do one mission an episode. Well, that's the episode, I guess. Who's this? This is it, Halo's control center. So what I'm getting at here is that it's a big ring, right? That terminal, try there. Just plug in this USB you flash drive. Never been better. You can't imagine the wealth of information. Knowledge, so much, so fast. It's glorious. So... What sort of weapon is it? What are you talking about? Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. Cortana, please stop Covenant getting off in front of me. This ring, it's Forerunner. Give me a second to access it. Yes, the Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... 
No, that can't be. Oh, why can't it be? Fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. The Covenant found something buried in this ring, something horrible, and now they're afraid. Something buried? Where? The captain. We've got to stop the captain. Keys? What the weapons we... cache he's looking for. It's not really. We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here. Find keys. Stop him. Before it's too late. How could there possibly not be enough time? Aren't you in his head? All right. I'm going to pause the recording here because god damn. Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo CE. Um, I turned off some of my skulls and I set it to easy mode because um, I'm here for the story, I'll be frank. I don't care too, too much about the difficulty of Halo 1. Creep through a swamp to meet the only enemy that come in fear. Now this one really looks like crap in this one, but this looks great. Like look at the green tint on this gun. That's so cool. It's a uh, very reminiscent of um Dagoba from Star Wars. I like swamp areas. There's not enough of those, I think. Can't believe I totally forgot that uh, this is the middle of episode five? I think so, yeah. Huh? Come on, you fat fuck. Ugh. I like, um, I honestly like the old design for Master Chief in a lot of uh, cases. Just doing a little explore, don't mind me. But uh, he looks a lot sleeker as well. Oh yeah, I turned off Grunt Explosion because I was getting kind of sick of that. I left Grunt Birthday Party on though, because that's just fun. That's good, clean fun, no matter who you ask. Right, these are probably going to be the settings I keep with me for the rest of the game. That's a lightning quick reload. You don't even cock it. Because normally when you reload this thing, you slowly thumb in shells one by one. Wow, this is super cool. I wonder if Halo being... Because Halo is all engineered, remember? Because, you know, Forerunners had to build the whole thing. I wonder if that's a comment on um, game design. Because in... Um, what's it Elder Scrolls is actually a really good example. Um, in Elder Scrolls, there's always... Uh, like, the world is a dream. The world of Elder Scrolls is a dream. It's a dream of a specific god. And that's the over-god, but, you know... That's a great melee bash. Oh, they got little fireflies as well. Um, but the thing is, 
the God is also multiple people and many gods are. And I've always thought that that was um, something that works on multiple levels. Because A, it is a weird thing in Elder Scrolls lore, but also it's a fact of the matter, like, the fact of it is, Elder Scrolls is made by multiple people. It's a team of writers. It's a, you know, oh shoot, shit, this isn't good. Zoom into my ass. Why is it like that? Why would they build it like that? Probably because you're supposed to hit it from this side. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So in Elder Scrolls, there's a bit of meta text where... That was pretty good. Like, the world was made by people. This, you know, the Elder Scrolls was created. Video games like that don't just show up. Even though they attempt to feel very natural. See, so yeah, one could read that into a uh, Halo. Because, like, Halo is very fantastic. And it was both read... Sorry, it was built by the Forerunners in Universe, but by Bungie out of Universe. And, like, when it comes to Bungie, they don't have a hold of it anymore. You know? They don't have... Halo isn't theirs. And they kind of um, set that up from the start because with fan-made Halo things, they were, you know, very willing to just, Jesus, let the fans, you know, run away with it. Have I gone in a circle? I think I have. What are these little things? That's what needle ammo looks like in this? That's awesome. They're just little gemstones. That's really funny. Actually, you know what? I've used a pistol before. I haven't used a lot of needle in this. So why don't I? I don't like the quiet of this. Stay back! Stay back! You're not turning me into one of those things! Dude. That, uh, okay. I see what's happening here. Oh, man, he hits them with the, the gooey side. That's pretty gruesome, but also radical. But anyway, anyway Bungie was, like, very willing to, like give away Halo. They were like, hey, we're going to allow Red vs. Blue to be made. We're going to, like, allow Halo to be made. We, we love all the fan projects because Halo is collectively ours, you know? And now they don't even touch Halo anymore. And so, like the Precursors, like the Forerunners, they have, you know, assuming that we see the Forerunners as people who own the galaxy, you know, people like gods, They have given it away, like Precursors did to Forerunners and like Forerunners did to humans. Which makes it kind of apt that, um... How many bashes is this? Wow. I don't think they take damage. Which makes it... And then in comes that track. Anyway, it makes it very apt that uh, 343 is the ones doing the four, the Forerunner focused uh, trilogy. As opposed to one more focused on the Covenant. But they're kind of losing track of that.
I love that little thing he does with his fingers. <laughs> Just fucking sl sling this guy around like a rag doll. That's pretty gruesome. So yeah, a good cutscene for ch uh, characterizing Chief, because, like, we don't get a lot of Why what the hell Chief's deal is. Watch your mouth, son. This stuff is your history. It should remind you, Grunts, what we're fighting to protect. Hey, does the governor want to wipe out this particular part of my history? That's fine by me. He's yeah, better it than us. You ask him real nice next time you see him, Vicente. I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. Looks clear. I'm like, I love that. But yeah, Chief is very, go, like, go, go. legitimately mournful about, you know, this, about the death of this rando soldier. You know, he's caring with the, the bodies of his Stay comrades. Close, Mendoza, move it up! What exactly are these guys doing here? Squad, then get your ass inside. Sir. Okay, let's move. Like, I guess it's important, but this is oh, is this a weapons cache? I guess that must be it. Which is weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the insides. Didn't say tore open its going? chest. I don't know. Maybe there was an accident. You know, friendly fire or something. What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? Now nah, we just met. So, people versed in the genre or who have played this game before will know what we're getting into. Right. Well, let's get this door open. I'll try, oh. sir. But it looks like these Covenant worked pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. But we're getting into zombies. Good use of covering as well. The military precision on display here actually is pretty nice. Like, obviously, this is a take on aliens. Got a bad feeling about this. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about something. What's going on, soldier? Corporal, do you copy? Over. Oh, yeah. Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge, order. Sarge, listen. What is that? Where's that coming from, Everywhere. Mendoza? I don't... There! Get up! Hold get still! Out. Hold get still! Out. Let him have it! Ah! Sergeant, we're surrounded. God damn it, Jenkins! Fire your weapon! There are too many, Sergeant! Don't even think about it, Marine. Oh, this is Coco! Get back here, Marine! That's an order! Jenkins! I'm sure people care about the order when this is happening. But yeah, these are, uh... These are zombies we're fighting. Which is another reason that I liken this to Half-Life. And yes, they are called the Flood. I 
Halo and Half-Life often like zigged where the other zagged. But for those who don't know, you could easily liken these to head crabs in that they're small, cuddly enough to make a plushie out of, but easily dispatched. But their main issue is that they turn others into zombies. And these are called flood infection forms. So the flood is a race. I think they can only um, zombify humans. No, um, mammals, excuse me. Because there have been zombified... Um, There have been zombified brutes, elites, and humans, uh, but none of the other races, as far as I know. Yeah, just, just brutes, elites, and humans. Kneeler isn't bad here, I think. Of course, I am using it on what is literally the weakest enemy in this franchise. But yeah, like, the, the Flood's kind of weird, I think. Um, their inclusion makes sense, because they add an interesting shakeup. I'm of the opinion that they add an interesting shakeup. Jesus. Because, like, just fighting against the aliens might get a little boring. But adding in these fellas... Holy moly. I think it can make it a lot more interesting. There we go. So, yeah, that's a, that's a zombified elite. A flood elite. And you can see, actually, let me look at him. You can see that he's got the little red feathery things that the little infection forms have sticking out of his head there because that infection form just burrows into the body and joins with it. These are straight up and down monster closets right here. I will say. Escape, it says. Checkpoint done. So the shotgun is very good for this because they don't have access to a lot of gun. And in many cases, they are going to want to fight you in close quarters. Which means that guns like these shine very well. Humanity has never had a really big problem with uh, the Flood, but every other race has. They're in fact why the rings were built. Halo was designed to be that ultimate weapon. Oh man, these moments are great. Halo was designed specifically to cleanse the Flood from the galaxy. By the way, we wouldn't have had to have watched that video there if Cortana had just told us what the hell was going on. But yeah, that's the deal with the Flood. And like, what an interesting switch of gameplay. Because it almost becomes survival horror, you know? Yep. Just leads back to there, yeah. Of course, just having zombies doesn't make it survival horror, and it's pretty easy to survive when you regenerate health, but there are moments that try for a horror angle, at least. I suppose survival horror really isn't uh, the nature of it, though.
And you can see that some of them fill up with the infection forms, the little feathery guys, and burst. See, I don't think that um, the flood can infect grunts because uh, grunts breathe the wrong type of air. They breathe uh, methane instead of oxygen. And uh, while humans, elites, and brutes are all mammalian, um, jackals are uh, reptilian. And the Yanma, or the uh, buggers, as you may recall, are um, insectoid. And the Flood can't bond with those, which is interesting. Because normally whenever you have uh, alien zombies in space, there's the issue of like, wait, wait, wait. It's pretty rare that like you get a disease that can spread across species on Earth with, you know, one planet. It is, you know, ludicrous and it stretches the um, imagination and suspension of disbelief that there would be a lack of uh, biochemical barriers to the point of... something being able to infect cross-planet. That's mitigated somewhat, however, by the fact that um, the flood is different um, in that it's not a virus, it is a thing. And it does have some barriers, it's just not picky too much, it just needs mammals, I think. Um, which interestingly also tells us about the, for about the Forerunners, because it tells us that the Forerunners were mammals. See, it's not really survival horror now that I look at it. It evokes the feeling, though. Where am I going? Well, there's a checkpoint here, so I must be going the right way, I assume. Yep, you can start to see them. Human floods. You can only kill so many of them with one pump. So yeah, that's a human uh, flood who's picked up a needler. And you can see they have very limited capacity to use uh, weaponry still. Very limited, but they can use it. Ugh. I noticed that there isn't a way to send me back up. But yes, um, one of the alien races, I don't remember which, it's either the Precursors or the Forerunners. Is that an elite with a shotgun? That's awesome. I think I, I think I might have mentioned this before, but there's actually some brutes that you can see wielding a shotgun in some of the halos. Because they're like, ooh, I like that. Like, I'm just wading through so much of it. So yeah, Chief is exempt from, uh... Chief is exempt from infection because he's wearing full body armor. Uh, that actually bonds with his skin, if I remember right. Uh, and some of the elites are. 
but most of the elite armor and all of the brute armor have open parts, you know, like open faceplates. Which means that they have pretty much nothing to protect them since the Flood only needs a little bit of open flesh. And since Marines don't really wear armor, they just wear, you know, clothes, they wear cloth and occasionally like a flak jacket or something over them. Yeah, they're uh, they're pretty screwed. They're pretty quick. Little fuckers. Assassinate. And yeah, there's a lot of them in here. But the thing is because they don't have guns with some exceptions. They have uh, much less capacity to hurt you. Because they also lumber va rather slowly. They're very clumsy how they move, you can see. But yeah, I, um, I've talked in the past about how much I love enemy infighting. I love when enemies have different factions or, you know, they're just so chaotic evil that they will just attack each other. Oh god, his face. Yes, I, I love enemy infighting. I, I have discussed. And so naturally, I adore... See how they're shining a big light up here? It's because it's like, hey, there's stuff up here. Because light is a way to guide the player, as we've discussed. Where was all of that fucking glass coming from? I was just in a rain of sheets of glass. Anyway, on the topic of uh, the Precursors and Forerunners, one of them have like weird little smashed faces. Um, with like a very flat nose, like a kind of like a Lord Voldemort in the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> Some of them look, um, I think, just like humans. Or no, maybe I'm thinking of something else. I think Forerunners are the the ones with like flat faces, but other than that, are mostly humanoid. I think Precursors actually have um, multiple arms. Which is to say, four of them. Multiple sets of arms. Most things have multiple arms. It'd be weird if they didn't. Where am I going with this? Yep. This appears to be the uh, place that I was before. Although I've been confused before. Yep. They're still pretty grotesque. Fuck. Yeah. Even in the uh, limited graphics. Okay, is it this way? Have I not gone this way? Ooh, I just got the shivers for some reason. Um, it is still November as I record this, naturally. I didn't record this very far in advance like I do with a lot of my LPs. Oh, duh. Because the light bridge wasn't up. I'm a doofus. And a dingus. Abrupt switch of the music. See, if it wasn't on easy mode, I couldn't be suicidal like this. What? Okay, cool. Someone using the microwave or something? Okay, cool. Taking me up and out, I hope.
What is going on down there? Oh, I thought you guys were zombies. Well, you're in luck. Yeah, this is great. You don't see zombies in a swamp very much. It's why RE7 is so great. So yeah, I'm 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 of two minds of including zombies in Halo. Cause on the one hand, it's interesting, it shows more the world. It gives an explanation as to where the hell the precursors and forerunners went. Because in most cases, the precursors go away because that's what the story says has to happen. Precursors aren't still here, that's why they're precursors. It's just a thing with writing, you know? But with here, you know, it's a very clear and obvious explanation. They are gone because of the flood. Of course, it isn't that cut and dry, but you know what I mean. Save that guy. I didn't shoot him in the head, I saved him. Important distinction. So in later games in the Halo series, you can actually see uh, the infection forms burrowing into, uh, burrowing into the bodies of a uh, living and dead um, soldiers. Elites and humans. Wow. Both of these look great, honestly. Having the draw distance up is a little better because it gives you more of the nothing you can see. Because you honestly can't see too, too much, and that's cool. Oh yeah, we've got one of these guys. Just a miscellaneous drone walking around. I love that because it's very obvious that it's Precursor based on its design because Precursor buildings all look the same so it would stand to reason that a lot of their um, robots or machinery would as well. And it looks like Guilty Spark does um, assuming you find the terminals. Guilty Spark and the other monitors, that is. Greetings. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. So yeah, in case you also wanted to get an idea of how advanced they are. Where'd you go? Just straight up teleportation. Library. Hold on. Um, this is a good place for the episode, though. So I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Halo Combat Evolved. Um, yeah, that's about it. See you guys later.